Hello and welcome. In this video, we're gonna complete our inventory system. So in the previous video, we set up the basics of the inventory. And now if we go to the canvas manager here in the close inventory function, we need to save any changes that we made and broadcast it using our server. So either we have character loot target or uh, we don't have that. So if we have a loot target, then we're going to drop the items in that character's inventory. But if we don't have a loot target, then we're going to drop the items on the ground. So for having a target, we need to use session manager to broadcast the message. So I'm going to create a function here and I'm going to name it trade items between characters server RPC. It is going to take two U longs for character one and character two and the other two are going to be strings which represents the list of items that character one is giving to character two and the other one is representing the list of items that character two is giving to character one so we're going to come back to this but for the other scenario when we don't have a target we're actually going to use character called the drop item function so let's go ahead and create a function call it drop item and another one called drop items that's for a single item this is for a dictionary of items for the drop item we're gonna just check the item if it is not null then we're gonna turn it to a dictionary and pass it to the drop items function so back to the canvas manager here when we don't have a target we are going to check to see if the items 2 which the items that we dropped on the ground count is greater than 0 and we have a local player in that case we're gonna create a dictionary for those items and add them to that dictionary and then we're gonna call local player drop items passing those items and when we have a target we're gonna call the function in the session manager so let's actually create a public function for trade items between characters we're gonna pass a character one and two and a dictionary of items for character one two two and character two two one so inside this we are just going to make sure the characters are not null and they're not equal and then we are going to create two dictionaries of type string int because we are not gonna pass all that data inside item so instead of item we're just gonna pass the network id so we're gonna loop through that dictionary and put it inside this dictionary and the same thing for the second dictionary we're gonna put it inside that and we are going to check to see if at least one of the dictionaries have a item if they do we're going to convert both of them to json and pass it to the trade items between characters server rpc so to the canvas manager here i am going to check the local player then i'm going to create two dictionaries for items i want to store and items i want to take from that character so any item inside the inventory items too which contains in local players inventory is the items that we're going to drop so they're going to be added to the items to store in the target player and the items who are in the inventory items one if they are in the characters target inventory we're going to add them to the items we want to take from that character and if the count of items to store and items to take are greater than zero or at least one of them is greater than zero we're going to call session manager trade items between characters we're going to pass the local player target player items to store in that player and items to take from that player so that's it for our canvas manager so in the character we have created a function called add items to inventory so i am going to rename this to add item to inventory locally also i'm going to create another function call it remove item from inventory locally locally basically means it's not going to be broadcasted over server it's just going to happen locally for this player only 
So for the removing the item, we're going to make sure it's not null and we're going to make sure our item actually contains that item. After that, we're going to check to see if it is our weapon that we are removing. If it is, we're just going to set the weapon to null. If it is the ammo, we're going to set the ammo to null. And at the end, we're just going to remove it from our items. So back to the add item to inventory. So first, let's make sure the item is not null and item is not already in our items list then I'm gonna pass another item to the function call it merge so if we want to merge this inside another item we are gonna use that here I am going to create a condition if our merge is not null and we have the merge inside our items and I am going to add an else so all of these are gonna go to the else so I am going to cut that bring it here let's also add an extra condition if it is an ammo and if our ammo is null weapon is not null and weapon actually takes this ammo then we're gonna equip the ammo so back to the merge area if there is a merge then we are going to get the merge item and item type and compare them if they're the same type then we're good to go if it is an ammo I'm just gonna add the amount of the item to the merge item and at the end I'm just gonna destroy that item so let's go to the pickup item client RPC and pickup item server RPC so I'm going to define an item up there name it merge so here before I'm gonna add the item to the inventory I am going to check to see if it is ammo and I'm gonna loop through my items and if I already have an item of that type then I'm gonna choose that item as merge and then I am going to pass the merge as the second parameter of add item to inventory locally so for the pickup item client RPC I'm gonna add another parameter call it merge network ID so in the server RPC for this one I'm simply gonna pass an empty string and for the other one up there I am going to check if merge is not equals to null I'm gonna pass the network ID of the merge otherwise I'm gonna pass an empty string that's for our pickup item server RPC now for the client RPC here before I add the item to the inventory I'm gonna define a merge and if our merge is not a empty or null string then I'm gonna look through my items try to find that and if I found it I'm gonna assign that and finally pass it to the add item to inventory locally so that's it for my pickup item so let's go ahead and take care of our drop item we created a function here and let's also create a drop items server RPC and a drop items client RPC and also a private function called underscore drop item so for this function we can simply make sure if the item is inside our inventory in that case if it's weapon we're gonna set the weapon to null if it's ammo we're gonna set ammo to null we're gonna set the parent to null set on ground status to true and just create a random position in front of our character and we're gonna assign that position and then we're gonna remove it from our items also we're gonna enable the game object so that's it for the drop item so for this one here we already have a drop a single item and by the way that is calling the drop items so here we are going to create a dictionary of string int and we're going to convert dictionary item int to dictionary string int we're going to replace the item with the network id of the items and then if the items count is greater than zero we're going to convert it to the json and pass it to drop items server rpc so here I am going to convert it back to the string int dictionary using JSON mapper and then I'm going to create two other dictionaries for dropped items and split items drop items is just the items we drop on the ground split items is the items that we dropped some of it on the ground for example an ammo but we kept some of it for our inventory so let's do a for each on our items and at the end if our dropped items count is greater than zero we are going to convert the dropped items and split items to json and pass it to the drop items client rpc so let's also loop through our items in the inventory and if we found that item 
So if it is an ammo, then we're gonna check out the count and decide if some of the ammo is gonna remain or not. And also if it is a weapon, we're just gonna choose the weapon ammo as the count. And if it is none of them, just choose one as the count, doesn't matter. So after that, if the remained, we're gonna check it here, is greater than zero, then we are going to instantiate a new item of that type. And we're gonna put that remained in the amount and add it to our split items. Also, we're gonna add it to inventory locally. So finally, we are going to drop the item and we're going to add it to the dropped items and then we are going to break from the loop so that is pretty much for our drop items server rpc now we can go to the drop items client rpc here it is now let's convert those strings to dictionary and i'm gonna do a for each loop for each one of those dictionaries i'm gonna start with the items if I find it, I am going to assign its value and drop it. And for the split items, we're gonna do the same thing. We are going to loop through the split items and for each one of them, we're gonna instantiate a new prefab added to our inventory locally. So that's it for drop items. So let's now go to the session manager and take care of our trade item between characters. So we already created the first function, the public one. So let's take care of the server RPC. We also need one for the client RPC. So the client RPC is also going to take two ulongs for character one and character two and the string for items that is going to be passed from character one to two, items that's gonna be split from character one and the same thing for the character two. That is the variables for both client and server RPC. So we're gonna check the characters to see if they exist inside our characters dictionary. Then we're gonna make sure they are not null and they're not the same thing. Now let's create the necessary dictionaries. So we are going to convert the character one to two JSON and character two to one JSON into these dictionaries and we also create two dictionaries for item one to two and item one split and the same thing for item two and two split now for the first dictionary let's loop through it they are for the character one so let's check out the character one inventory and we check to see if we found that item just like the drop item we are going to define a count and a remained and uh, here we are going to check that remained assign the value for it and at the end we are going to check the remained and if it is greater than zero then we're going to create a prefab for it add it to the inventory and add it to the split one also we are going to add this to the inventory of character two at the end and remove it from character one inventory and also add it to the dictionary we have items one to two. By the way, the download link of the source code is in the description of the video. So I know typing all this code is a little bit boring. So you could just use the source code instead. So let's go to the second part. After this for each, we are going to create another for each for the second character that's it also looping through the character two inventory checking the network id and we're gonna do everything just like the other for loop we did we're going to define a count and a remained we are going to set the remained here and if we have a remained we're gonna split it and at the end we're gonna remove it from character two add it to character one and add it to that dictionary too to be notified to other clients. So finally, we are going to check to see if our items 2, 1 or items 1, 2 count is greater than zero. If it is, we're gonna convert everything to string and pass it to our client RPC. So now let's take a look at here. First, I am going to get all characters in the scene and try to find both characters with those IDs. So if I find them, I'm gonna put them in those two variables, character one and character two. And then if they're not null and they're not the same thing, I am going to create the necessary dictionaries. Use the JSON mapper to convert those variables 
to dictionary. So after that, I am going to loop through items one to two. I'm going to make sure that item is actually exist in the player one. So if it's there, then I'm going to give it to player two. So the same thing we can do for the split items. So if there is a split item, then we're going to instantiate a prefab for it and add it to the inventory of the character one. And then for the items two to one, I'm going to check out the character two inventory. If there is an item, I am going to add it to the character one, remove it from character two. And finally, if there is a item to split for character two, we're going to instantiate a prefab for it and add it to the character two. So it was a lot of code and I had to move on as fast as possible to save some time. And again, if you encountered any issue, make sure to download the source code first and try the source code to avoid any mistakes in typing the code. So back to the editor, let's go to the prefabs in the characters. There is this component on the character that I don't like basic rigid body push. So I'm going to remove that. Also, let's go to the third person controller script. We need to make a few small changes here in the camera rotation. We are rotating the camera using input look. So let's define a variable for input look. And if canvas manager inventory is open, we're going to set the look input to Victor to zero. And instead of input look, I'm going to pass the variable we have up there. So that's it. Now we can't rotate the camera when our inventory is open. So let's go and get a build for the project. See if everything still works. Here we go. I'm going to build inside that folder. So let's start one client and also start the editor. And I'm going to use this as the server. And let's use this as the client. So we have our player, no errors so far. If I select the inventory, I have two items. So let's go and pick up that item as well. Now I have three items and let's actually drop this item and this item on the ground, see if it works. I'm going to hit close. And yes, those items are on the ground now. And if I check out my inventory, there's only the weapon in my hand in the inventory. So I can go ahead and pick them up again. And here they are in my inventory. So, so far so good. Let's actually start another client. See how that works. So this is my second client. Now if I take care of this guy, right now I have just two items. So if I go and see if I can grab some of this guy's items. So player one, I'm going to take his weapon and his ammo and hit close. Now let's check out the inventory. Nope, it still doesn't work. Let me stop this and double check the code. Make sure we didn't miss anything. So let's go to the session manager. Here I am going to add uh, require ownership to false to the trade items between character server RPC. And also here in the public trade item between characters at the end, I think I should have said two to one instead of one to two. So that's probably going to fix the issue. Now, if I save this, go back to the editor. And if I get a build for the project, here it is. Now, if I start a client, another one, and also start the editor, here it is. I'm going to use this as the server. Let's play one of them as client, the other one as client too. Now, if I take a look here, right now I have two items. If I go and pick this one and close, and if I check that out, that guy is no longer has an item, but I do have three items. So everything works fine. Let's pick that up and pick this up. So everything's worked fine. I'm going to finish the video right here. Make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.